Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. So, right after I finished the last episode, I, I did a little bit of experimenting and I found an interesting thing. The person that we recruited has actually gone into Manticore 1, but the display didn't immediately update. And I thought, ah, let's, uh, let's do some experimenting. So I flew around until I found another one uh, with uh, my other Manticore, with Manticore 2 and uh, I recruited them, and exactly the same thing happened. So just bear in mind that you may end up with someone on your ship, but just not be aware of it. Now, thinking about this uh, from before, I went back through each of the uh, different havens that I visited, and if you mouse over them, uh, you get a little population readout, you get an indicator of how much they like you, um, but if I go all the way up here, it also tells you when there's a recruit available. Now, this is different to the one that we, uh, we picked up earlier uh, who didn't actually appear. Uh, this is just someone new who is available for us to get. Uh, so what we're going to do is Manticore 2 over here, we're actually going to send all the way back to go and get that person. Uh, as, well, as soon as they reach their destination, we're going to do that. Um, but for the moment, uh, we're going to send our fully equipped team in to this, uh, uh, this scavenging site. Now, before we go in, uh, Niam Richard is the new person. I just want to have a look at what they've got. Uh, so we have a new Jericho sniper rifle. We have a new Jericho handgun. That is six damage. Let's switch on the class filter. Um, so choices. I think we're going to keep the new Jericho one because it does more damage. The effective range isn't quite as far as the Firebird, but doing more damage is going to be better for us in terms of ammo capacity more ammo capacity as well and it weighs exactly the same so we don't really care about that and for handguns we're limited on choice anyway so yeah i'm i'm fine with their equipment uh in terms of the actual kit that they've got stealth accuracy stealth accuracy it all ends up being much of a muchness Banshee armor would make us lose more speed, so no justifiable reason to move across onto that. The helmet we've already taken elsewhere. And the legs are exactly identical, so uh, I think we're, we're pretty happy with you, Niam Richards. Uh, in terms of abilities, obviously we want to get you some experience, so let's get you in and start your killing. So we've got Alien Crabman, Alien Mist Sentinel, Alien Mindfraggers, and Fireworms as potentials. Now I've noticed that we're not actually getting the loot from, um, from the crates on the battlefield. Um, I think that's probably because there hasn't been any of the old style crates that we've run into yet. So I want to keep my eyes peeled for them uh, just in case. If we spot any, maybe we can open them up. Right. We've got a Mind Fragger over there. We've got a Mind Fragger over there. This dude has a shield and a gun, right? So they've got ranged combat abilities. Very important for us to bear that in mind. Okay, so starting on this side, I think we'll, we'll pistol this thing down. Can I get two shots if I move intelligently? Yeah, if I go here, I can get two shots. And hopefully not get returned fired by anything. Um, if we disable the head, would that, like, actually disable? I would hope so. Um, well, well, we're going to do six damage. We're going to take two shots. So chances are we're going to kill it. Well, we disabled the head. Uh, shoot it in the butt for the second one. And that disabled the torso. Okay. We definitely need to do something about the guys in good sniping positions. Do we want to take the arms out? Hmm. Oh, they've got spitter heads as well. Tough call. Cool. They've got a little bit of armor on the chest, quite a bit on the carapace, and those are heavy legs. I think go center mass first. Well, 
Well, he disabled his torso, he's bleeding. Uh, we can definitely do a bit more than just that, though. He's not returning fire, which is good for us, um, but a little bit worrisome. Eh, tiny bit more damage. One more shot should take him out. That's the other major concern, that guy over there. In fact, where, where are the others? Over this side. And up top, okay. Well, I think we'll end up doing some sniping or something like that. But for the moment, you can move into here. That is like right into the shield. That is terrible. Uh, can't actually hit that. Could finish this guy off. Seems a bit wasteful though. This guy might be a decent option though because his shield is looking the other way. Eh, five damage, that's reasonable. Uh, we could get another shot on him. Uh, let's have a look. Did he turn around? He did turn around, but his shield still isn't really showing that much. But he's, he's in a better position than he was. We'll do exertion, and we'll shoot the one just above us, I think. Yeah, go, go straight for the leg. Lovely stuff. Now we do have a brand spanking new person, of course, uh, so we're going to get a little bit more in terms of shooting capacity than we had previously. Uh, we do still need to, of course, take a bit of care with what we're doing. Make sure we don't overextend ourselves. Uh, maybe we'll shoot this guy with our engineer. That is not cover. That is not cover either. We can get to here and we'll only get one shot though. Or here and get two. Might go right through that though. I think we're going to have to try it. So, up top, that is not a 50-50 chance to hit. A tiny bit of damage. I'll take it over nothing. A little bit more. It's, he's not doing brilliantly, but he's not doing terribly, so I, I can't really complain. Okay, who's next? Our grenade launcher. Now this is quite a way away, so I'm actually going to just run him up to here. And he'll be in a position for next turn. That's for sniping. Might come over this side. You're actually quite exposed there. Yeah, let's let's pull in over here. And we don't really have the ability to do anything else, so we'll leave you alone. Heavy, we could get this thing stunned. That seems like a very good idea. So, in with the Hell Cannon. Extra accurate, if you remember. Minus 27 willpower. That thing is not going to be operating. I think that's that's all we can do unless we activate exertion and do like a little piddly thing, but I don't think it's really going to be worth it. So let's call that there. Popping down behind cover and shooting at the container, of course. Little scuttlebug coming towards us. This guy is going after the container. I mean, they're quite close together, so we could... Oh, he's going after the other one. Um, so we could get a rocket or something on them. That was from him over here. Yeah. 
I mean, we're standing in the open. It's not a surprise we're getting shot at, but that is destroying our cover. Like, quite, quite amazingly so. Now, these guys are worrisome. How can I go about getting both of them killed without exposing myself? You know, we'll deal with them in a little bit. Let's, um, let's do the fun bit first. So this is going to be a step forwards and then a rocket onto both of these guys. Pretty certain we're going to be able to get both of them with a single one. Yeah, look at that. Ideal. Here it comes. Okay, so... This guy, not a threat at all. He's still got a spit ahead, but he's, he's bleeding a hell of a lot. This guy, he does still have his gun. But they don't have any cover anymore, so... That makes things a bit interesting. Uh, let's go back to you. Uh, we can't do exertion because you don't have enough willpower. That is a shame. Okay, well, I guess we'll just have to work around that. Now, we could just let these guys pop us. That may not be the worst idea, actually. Uh, give us the flexibility to potentially take out these guys instead. That is not a shot that's going to happen, but this could work. All right, one gone, and then we can we can do a bit of sniping. Now sniping does quite a lot of damage, so if we're going to snipe. Twelve damage per shot. We can actually just go straight after the head. It'll take ten damage. Mm. Yeah, we'll get two snipes on it. So you're going to do the same. Not that... No, no, we want to... We want a better shot than that. Let's uh, step this way. Keep behind cover so we've got at least something helping. Look at this. Perfect snipe shot. That's taken its ability to spawn mist away. So... It may as well be inert. Right. This guy next. Step forwards. Grenade. Just hop it over behind him. He's lost both of his weapons. He's bleeding out. He's going to bleed out next turn. Perfect. All right. We'll do exertion. And with the remaining shots, try and do some damage to this. We're probably not going to do much, but... Uh, uh, or we're not going to do any because we'll fumble. But uh, this is just extra potential shots. It doesn't actually waste any ammo, at least, when you fumble. Just time. Oh my god, you are... I'm going to take your, your pistol away. You're, you're losing your privileges. Okay, not exactly what I was hoping for. So let's think. If I step to here, I can get some plink plink shots on this. And that is going to be very worthwhile. Okay, took its leg out. Uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can finish it off. It has shifted slightly. No, oh, wow, every shot missed. <laughs> that was that was kind of terrible. Kind of terrible indeed. Okay, this guy is still a threat, so let's Let's get our sniper out and we'll get in a position where we can actually see him.
right on his face. Okay, well, he doesn't have a machine gun anymore, so there's that, at least. Uh, he doesn't have a head, so he can't spit. He is actually, um, yeah, <laughs> completely disabled. Uh, right, we'll get your pistol out. Let's come across to here, and we'll try blasting. This thing. No. So we're going to have some people with crabs on their heads. Not a great deal we can do about that. But at least one of those is led out. Right, here he comes. Alio. And here comes the second. That's okay. We can get these guys back. Uh, we just need to shoot the crabs on their faces. And this is why we bring pistols with us. Even if we fumble it a couple of times, we'll still get this shot. Oh! Alright, so apparently return fire is totally a thing. Let's uh, bear that in mind for the future. You can do better than that. Try that again. Another fumble. Okay, last try. Much better. Yeah, I don't recommend you actually play like this. Uh, it is a lot of fun, but at the same time, you can see the uh, the potential problems that I'm running into. Um, return fire when you're fumbling stuff. Um, it doesn't take a genius to say that's a bad idea. Uh, grenade on this one, or grenade on... Oh, can we... We can just about hit him. In fact, no, I want to get the experience for the kills on these guys. Or this guy, I should say. So, let's have a think. Sniping long range first. We'll get the long range snipe kill. And then we'll do a pistol at the nearer guy. I want someone else to pistol it first. So that it's taken just enough damage. So who else has a pistol? and doesn't mind taking a plink at it. You don't mind taking a plink at it. Uh, if you come to here, you can take two if you need to. So, in with the head. Then we go back to our less experienced troop. Of course, this is slightly gaming the system, but I don't think that's a problem at all. There we go. I think this guy is going to bleed out, and that will be the end of this mission. Unless there's another scuttlebug somewhere. Nope, that's it. So, kill all enemies, protect all crates, general mission experience. Uh, we got a level up for Chelsea, we got a level up for our new guy, that's cool. Um, Molly is a little bit injured, and, uh, Elliot is unmodified, I have, oh, because, no, I have no idea why Elliot is unmodified, in yellow, as opposed to unmodified in grey, yeah, I'm sure there's a reason, uh, so we've got five regular skill points, um, for being able to put into the skill points pool, that's great. And as soon as we are back, there we go. Jeez, another 200 materials. So I, we're really doing well with being able to build up our... Um, fact, let's, let's come across here. Uh, our radar stations. Ooh. Our operative discovered the Grand Temple of the Pan Cosmic Ostara, a compound belonging to the nature-worshipping cult that arose in the late 2010s. Okay. 
It's hard to tell whether the compound is occupied as the cultists rejected electricity as unnatural and refused to perform any repairs on the building. Compound houses over 100 beds and there's a decayed corpse in every one of them. Each with a plastic bag wrapped around its head to symbolise each ecological disaster. Oh my word. It seems the historians follow through on their beliefs that humanity was a virus by committing mass suicide. There's nothing of any value here. These guys opted out. That is bad. That is terrible. Okay. Um, let's give it just a second. So both manticores have arrived here. Um... Must be at a friendly haven or phoenix base. Okay, so we can't do it here. We'd have to do it there or there. That's that's good to know. Uh, let's have a look. Can I transfer these between ships? Maybe not here. Maybe it would have to be at a friendly base. Oh no, no, we can we can move them that way. Okay. Yeah, you just have to do it sensibly within things. So knowing how that works. Let's send number two up here to get that recruit. Uh, which means we're going to have to go via this point. Number one can come explore here and then we'll go down here and build our radar. Okay, nothing there. So that gets a new radar station that allows us to see a little bit further and yeah while that ship is on its way up there i guess we'll carry on exploring down here Crew available at haven that's what we want Okay, so up at the Haven, recruit soldier, that's going to take 18 tech, 37 materials, and 25 food. Well, we've got plenty for that. So, recruit soldier. Now, we've seen this before. They haven't appeared on the Manticore. But if we move between, there we go. So, that that's what's happening. It's just not updating the display. We do have a new engineer, though. That's very cool. Let's have a look and see if there's any others. Wait, kicking ass and taking names. I like Fort Methuselah. Okay, it looks like there's not a great deal going on down there. I'm going to bring this troop all the way down here because I want a team of eight. Uh, so let's let's bring them back. Can we... Soldier available for recruitment. Okay, I wonder where this is. We need 73 materials. Is it down at this one? Yep. Okay, so that's where they are. Maybe that's what happened before. Maybe them being available, trying to do the recruiting, didn't actually do the recruiting. Good to know, though. Ooh. Our operatives have discovered the location of an abandoned lab. The doors appear to have remained sealed for the last 20 years. Unfortunately, it's impossible to determine the purpose from the outside. Well, obviously, we're going to break in. Scientists who worked in the lab with nothing but skeletons starved to death long ago. It seemed they kept working to the end, trying to find a cure for the Pandora virus. They're all good, good lads. As our operatives strip the base, they find a note left by the scientists. It's a short, simple message. Make it all mean something. I want those materials back. We've got lots of tech. I want the materials. Ooh. There's an armadillo. I mean, we, we can't fit it on board. We would need to get a ton of materials, but a new Jericho armadillo is available here. That's very cool. Okay. We've made contact with Amadioa, a Synedrian haven. A citizens' assembly is supposed to vote on contributing resources to our cause, but a significant chunk of the population appears to be busy enjoying some kind of orgy. Our operatives are invited to participate should they be interested. Uh, you know what? I say it's the end of the world. Enjoy yourself where you can. 
As per Regulation 17.4b, the details of this event are to remain private. There has to be no longer of which operatives chose to participate. Later on, the Assembly votes to generously support the Phoenix Project uh, with 100 food. Well done, team. Well done. You're doing your planet proud. All right, this manticore has gotten closer. Let's carry on bringing it down. It does take a while to travel, of course. Another loose haven. And okay, that's actually all we've got in this area. So I think for the moment, we're going to have to actually head back up and carry on exploring up, up in North America. Still, we can intercept the other... Uh, in fact, we can start the process of going back a little bit. Let, let's drop the troop off at the... Phoenix base. Right, uh, so we're not going to go in through the squad roster because that seems to be limited to the one that you're actually viewing. Yeah, from here. Oh, we, yeah, we can transfer to the transfer point like that. Perfect. Uh, well, in that case, this manticore can carry on up. And... Come on board, Eve O'Connor. All right, let's have a look and see what Eve has. Oh, I've still got all the uh, the level ups to do as well. Uh, we'll do that in a second. Right, so in terms of equipment, you've got your PDW, you've got a turret, great. Uh, and you've got your, uh, hmm, your mechanical arms, of course. I think we'll probably leave you as you are. Uh, in terms of training, We'll give you Expert Shooter. It is using our Phoenix skill point pool. But I think that's definitely worth it for 20% accuracy on anyone. Alright, well, Manticore 1, carry on. Carry on up this way. Manticore 2, you can start exploring for points of interest. Like Lily Thomas. Uh, we definitely don't have enough materials so you'll have to leave well enough alone for the moment. Ah, oh, I, I want all of these things. I mean, you could just load two armadillos onto a manticore and just have it drive around everywhere. Okay. The inhabitants of Dilbat are struggling to produce enough food for the entire population. Despite their best efforts, the field of transubstantiation is failing to grow they plead for our help well we've got food coming out of our ears so yeah disciples of anu are much happier okay uh that was uh, this one here so we're just systematically going through each of these We've located another Phoenix base. Three soldiers. Brilliant. We're going to load them straight in up here. Phoenix Astronautics. Sorry, we're leaving this base completely abandoned. Three snipers. All called Alex. Oh my god. This is, this is my favourite base. Alexander Walsh, Alexander Beck and Alex O'Reilly. Okay, um, so in terms of equipment... We could give them some grenades, because who doesn't love a sniper squad with grenades? Could also give them some heavy weapons. No, 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 they they'll be fine as they are. Um, we do have expert light weapons, yeah, extra for you there. Expert runner, no. Expert mounted weapons, that would be funny. Sniper Squad. Alex the Sniper Squad. I like it so much. Our operatives have located an abandoned military outpost. Alright. Search it. Materials, tech and food. Cool. Uh, so that was down at that one there. Another soldier available for recruit. We don't have the resources. We need more materials. So we're going to have to leave them alone. I actually ended up missing that one by mistake. Uh, let's go to there. And you can come back this way. There we go. 
Go long. Okay, Manticore 2 arrives at Karzipar during the Rites of Hope, which remind the faithful to believe in a bright future. Citizens march through the haven chanting, Perfection is possible, and praising the exalted, the first human being to approach perfection. After the ceremony, there's a feast, and the priests share some of their provisions with our operatives. Cool. Get a little bit of food. That's uh, always welcome. And we've found another scavenging site. I think that's probably a good point for us to finish this episode off. Uh, let's just leave that. So we're, we've done pretty well this episode. I mean, we did a scavenging mission and we've explored a whole bunch. And we have a sniper squad of Alex's. There, there is nothing to dislike about the way this has gone. Um, we do need a hell of a lot more materials, so we're probably going to end up spending some time waiting and watching. Um, so what I might do is I might take some of the people back to the various Phoenix bases, just in case uh, we have some trouble. But that'll be after we finish this scavenging site. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this and are continuing to enjoy these videos. Uh, I'm definitely having a laugh. Uh, if you are liking them, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Phoenix Point. See you soon.